I would encourage you to uh, open up your Bibles. As together this evening, we're going to be looking at Ephesians once again. And specifically, we're going to be looking at chapter 5 and verses 1 through 7. Chapter 5 and verses 1 through 7. Remember that uh, Paul, in his letter, has already made his pivot to uh, the applications of the theological truths that he's been uh, spreading forth. And you remember, of course, that the greatest of these truths is our identity, our new identity in the Lord Jesus Christ. We have been united to him. We who have been saved through faith in him, through his electing uh, mercy, Father calling us, or rather choosing us before time memorial, the Son paying for our sins on the cross, and then the Holy Spirit applying that and indwelling us, not just so that we will be brought to Christ and cleansed of our our sin debt, but also so that we will be made over again after his image. And so being conformed to the image of Christ and being truly his in the midst of a world that is not, obviously, Uh, conform to the image of Christ is one of the main uh, applications here. But uh, before we turn to God's word, let's go before him. God, our gracious Father, Lord, I am a weak man, and I am not able to open up your word or divide it if you do not give me your, your spirit's help. Lord, I do pray that you would teach me to divide the word aright for your people. Remind me, these are your precious lambs, and let me never say anything that is not in keeping with your word. I do not want simply to share my opinions about things, but to convey truly and faithfully what your Apostle Paul had to say. For, Lord, you gave him those words. 